This week marks the 70th anniversary of the most daring Allied breakout from a German prison camp during the Second World War. The legendary story became known as The Great Escape, and you may remember it was turned into a classic Hollywood movie. But as Stuart Gere explains, what's forgotten is the vital contribution from the Canadian prisoners who spearheaded the audacious plan. Dressed in uniform, Korean actors joined veterans and their families at the site of Stalag Luft III, the supposedly escape-proof German prisoner of war camp in what's now Western Poland. They came to honor the cunning and the courage of captured Allied airmen who pulled off the most daring breakout of World War II. We felt that we had to contribute contribute something to the war effort, and there was the opportunity. The story was immortalized in the 1963 Hollywood blockbuster *The Great Escape*, which featured a cast of screen legends like Steve McQueen. Beneath the noses of guards, they dug three tunnels, codenamed Tom, Dick, and Harry. Seventy-six prisoners managed to slip out through the longest one, which ran a hundred meters and took a year to dig. But what the movie got wrong was that most of the key players were, in fact, Canadian. The man who designed the tunnels. Was Wally Floody, who came from Chatham, Ontario. He spent his young years as a, a university or college student raising tuition by going up into northern Ontario and working in the mines. The main forger, who produced more than a hundred bogus documents for the escapees, was Nova Scotia Airman Tony Pingali. You're the scrounger. Yes, that's right. And the scrounger wasn't an American, as played by James Garner, but Barry Davidson, a bomber pilot from Calgary. Great portrayals, but there was one thing missing. There should have been some Canadian patches on the shoulders of the airmen in the movie, and there weren't. Almost all of the men were recaptured, with only three making it to safety. Embarrassed, Hitler ordered harsh retribution. Fifty of the POWs were executed, including Toronto's George McGill and five other Canadians. It was a costly operation, but not necessarily unsuccessful. One thing it did do a lot for morale. Thanks to their remarkable ingenuity and bravery, the heroes of the Great Escape will always be remembered for using their captivity to fight back. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.